Aye, Shalom. I want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakudash, the minus to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the Akims that's pushing this work around the globe in truth and sincerity, and to the true Akims push on. And this is going to be a little short, uh, a little short vid, man, on, on just over my spirit to, uh, to uh, just bring this out, man, because uh, lately, you know, when the Lord have you in the trenches getting it in, man, you don't recognize it. You know, until you probably, you know, uh, maybe doing something and it, it come to mind or whatever it may be. But um, if you teach a man how to fish, man, you feed him forever. So as teachers and ambassadors of the Lord, you know, we got to make sure that we going about giving our sound doctrine and also uh, being able to uh, preach the gospel and also live of it, man. You know, because that what you teach a man, you must show a man also, man. Right. So when you is teaching a man, and we, we are teaching men, right, raising up men to teach men to fend for themselves, man, you know, for your salvation is accounted upon you, man. But with no further ado, I'm going to dive into it, and Lord willing, it be edifying. This second Timothy 2 and 2. And the memo of this whole thing, man, is to get this word, man, and go serve the Lord, man. That you may have on um, rejoicing in your work alone, man, and not of another man, you know, because you what if you can't get to that other man to get a precept or or, or breakdown or, or something dealing with history or something like that, man. And whoever you was on um, trying to um, convince, you can't convince the gainsayer then, man. So that's why you got to study it. The righteous study it the answer. But in Second Timothy 2 and 2, it says in the things that thou has heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also, man. You see? So when we have heard this word of other men, of faithful men, um, starting chiefly with our apostles and elders of um, Great Millstone, man, on down to the elders of the camps, man, even all the way down to younger brothers, man, uh, we got to commit thou to ourselves, the faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. And, um, <clears throat> and, uh, you look at the uh the 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 engine in a man and, and and his drive, you know, and 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 his passion and his zeal, man, and you know, you uh exhort accordingly, man. You know, like you say, man, the Lord ain't dealing with no vain jangling niggas, man. You know, the Lord dealing with men he could build up, strengthen, and bring forth the house of David, man. Okay. Uh this first Timothy four. In 16, it says, I read 15, it says, meditate upon these things. That's what the things that we have learned, man, that we have committed ourselves unto faithful men, that we must also um, spread the doctrine and the good news with uh, give thyself wholly to them. See, you got to practice in what you preach, man. You know, we got to practice what we preach, man, to be a. Uh, to be demonstrators, man, of the gospel. It says that thy prophet and may appear to all, man. So what you're doing, men are watching, man. And if you call yourself an ambassador, man, you got to walk in the own, in the lines of such, man. It says take heed unto thyself, man. Yeah, tell you take heed, least thou fall, man. So pay attention to what you're teaching and giving out, man, and instructing other men, man. It says uh, and unto the doctrine, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee, man. So, you helping a man uh, save his household, man, by teaching them, man. Not teaching him to depend on you, but to be independent in the scriptures. Searching the scriptures daily, man, to see if the things are such, man. When you teaching a man, you want a man to be dealing with you with asking you questions. It's also sharpen you. I sharpen I. Because when a man asking questions... You know, uh, it brings about the horizon of um that this man is um eager to learn, man, wanting to know, and it also sharpen you up for when on um, random people when you're at camp and doing the work of the Lord that they might ask a question out the world work, man. You know, it keep you prayed up, keep you studied up. All right, this Proverbs nine and nine. It says, give instructions to a wise man 
right? Yeah, choose wisely who you're giving this word to, man. Give not that which is holy to the dogs, man. Keep your bread back. It says, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning, man. All right? You want a man that weigh your door steps and constantly ask you questions and 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 and, and, and is uh he he uh you know he 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 passionate man you know he eager he willing man and he will increase and in learn it meaning he will learn for himself and then teach others also man all right this proverbs twenty four. And three, it says through wisdom is in house building and by understanding it established. So through wisdom, we're giving a man wisdom. All right. You build his house. You help him build, giving, giving him the, um, the, the, the tools he needs to start to build his house. And by understanding is established. So once he get it, he start to establish his own house, man. He start to build up on his own, uh, on his own foundation, man, and his treasures. All right. It says, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches, man. So he gained abundance of delicacies of his own, man. Instead of having to come keep borrowing from you, man. Right? We dropping gems and, and uh and uh diamonds, you know. So likewise, shall a man, you also give a man that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to be able to dig in a rut and get his own diamonds and, and, and gold, man. Which is this word, man. All right, we counsel to build men up, man. Okay? Because when you teach, because when you teach, you want to, uh, Salake for that. When you teach, I'm at work, but Salake. When you teach, you want to be able to build men up, all right? Therefore, they wouldn't have to depend on you. But this is a rock. 37 and 19 because when you teach him man you teach him for strife then if you do this it says there is one that is wise and teach it many and is yet unprofitable to himself all right it says right so it says there is one that is wise and teach it many and yet is unprofitable to himself all right so you got to be uh you got to be in that stead, Salaki. I can miss, this ain't nothing but the devil. He'll just start it calling the phone. But uh, there is one that is wise and teaching many, and yet is unprofitable to himself. Because when you teach a man, all right, that's un that's basically unlawful. You showing a man the law, but you're not keeping the law yourself, man. So when you teach and show a man, man, you teach, you teach and show him for him to be able to fend for himself and fend on his own. But... I'll get one more and get out of here because, uh, what's that? What? Spirit. It's a lot. Let me give you the update. Shalom, Maki. <laughs>